In this video, we are going to be looking at how to use question pools and how to use them to create uh, quizzes with randomly selected questions uh, for each student. We are also going to look at sections on quizzes. So in order to access these tools, we're going to go to quizzes. And for our purpose here, we're going to create a new quiz. So seeing as we already have our first quiz, I'll put our second quiz. So um, what we want to do here is really focus on add, adding and editing questions. So we'll go on add, edit questions. So normally what you do is you'd either create a new question here, or we could uh, create a question pool. Now, if we want to add a new question, we've already done that before, right? We can go through here and add the new question, but now we want to create a new question pool. So question pool title, let's call it true false because there's going to be only true false questions in this question pool. Now we had already created some questions in our question library and some of them are true false questions. So if we go to our question library, uh, which we looked at in the last video, we see the 11 test questions, right? And then a couple other ones we imported from the quizzes, but let's say here, there are five true false questions and we want, every student to get three random ones, questions of those five. So if I select these five test questions, because they're the five true false questions, and these could be a particular curriculum expectation or from a particular unit, depending on um, how are you using it, but we're just gonna use it for um, just doing true false questions. So if I import those five, and I say, I want each student to only answer three of them. So for example, um, it would look like this, test question five, test question two, test question three, uh, one student would get. You could keep regenerating and you could see all um, what it could possibly look like for each student. So that way, if you have a whole bunch of questions, you can draw from that pool, but only have a students um, answer so many ones. So essentially every student's gonna get a different quiz with different questions on it. So that's, um, there we go. There's a question, questions one through three will come from that pool. So let's say we want to do another pool now with the uh, multiple choice ones. But uh, multiple choice, and again, we'll go to the question library. I have five of those. You can see the five questions we've already assigned. I'm going to import those. I only want them to answer three of them. And again, you could randomly generate just what it looks like when they're randomly generated and we'll click save. So now there's <coughs> six questions on the test, on the quiz, and the first three are three randomly selected true false ones, and the next three are multiple choice. Now let's say you wanted to have that broken up into each, into separate sections. Now separate sections on quizzes mean they'll see them on separate pages. So let's say we wanted to add a section for the true false. Right, we don't have to add the section, but it will help us separate the two types of questions. So all I have to do is create the true false. And if I uh, mouse over the true false questions here, click on the little uh, eight little boxes there and drag it right into that section. And now that will appear in that section. And I can do the same for the multiple choice. And then I can take the three multiple choice questions drag it there. Let's try that again. There it is. And now I have three questions in my true false section and three questions in my multiple choice section. And now each one of those sections will appear separately on separate pages. So they'll do the true false ones first, then click on the next section and then do the multiple choice. So it just helps break up the quiz a little bit too. All right. So that's how you can use uh, question pools and sections to create randomly generated quizzes so every student has a different quiz.